Hi guys, I recently did a comparison of the best rally games, Richard Burns Rally and Dirt Rally 2.0, where I gave only 4 points out of 10 to the sound in RBR. After this, some of you asked me to delete that video. And not just one, several people. It was absolutely obvious to me that sound in Richard Burns Rally is inferior to Dirt Rally 2.0, but I began to figure out where the roots of this reaction came from. And indeed, I found several claims in several places that F-Mode in RBR is most realistic sound in rally games. So I decided to make direct comparison. But first, two moments. I know people can be hypersensitive when talking about things they love, and I understand that. But when bloggers point out any shortcomings, it increases the likelihood that these shortcomings will be corrected in the future. And second, in that comparison, I was talking about sound quality in general. Specifically, I said the engine sound is quite acceptable in RBR, but the sound of the car body is pretty lame. So, on Jan Kanderebeck's channel, I found a video where he sets up F mode. That's how RBR sounds like without the engine. When we talk about sound design, we talk about all the sounds, in general. Unfortunately, if you remove the engine sound, then all other sounds are not of the best quality in this game. Sounds of car body, sounds of the road surface, road side, and so on. So despite the fact that I consider RBR as one of the best rally games, I think that still a lot of room for improvements in terms of sound here. And what is gonna happen if we look at sound from the point of view of realism? Maybe it's just that, in reality, everything sounds just as lousy. I chose the best real-life videos I could find in terms of audio quality. And we're gonna compare the modified RBR with the current F-Mode, games from Codemasters and games from Kyloton Company. From Codemasters will take their latest game EA Sports WRC and from KT will take WRC Generations. All the latest games and the latest versions. Let's go! After the first comparison, I will give the edge to Codemasters. I like the raw sound of the engine in RBR, but it lacks capacity, bulk, dimension. In addition, the lack of shifter sound and bad peripheral sounds greatly spoil the overall impression. WRC generations playing by their own rules. The engine sound is more reminiscent of the airplane taking off and they add a lot of made-up sounds. I wouldn't say it's terrible, but it has a little in common with reality. Ok, let's move on.
here, even though I like the sound quality much better in EAWRC, I like the sound of this particular car better in RBR. Here the engine sound is more pronounced and rich. RBR wins in realism here. Generations. I don't want to make a fun of this game, but only they know what they added here. Shutter sounds of old cameras? I don't even know. I had the feeling that instead of a cold driver there is a paparazzi sitting next to you. Here, as it seems to me, the nature of the sound from Codemasters is closer to reality. In RBR the sound is too soft and indistinct. It's not bad, but not too similar to the original. Generations here can compete with other games. There is less of a plane and more of a car, without made-up sounds. Here, from Codemasters, the sound seems a little bit soft. That's why I like the raw engine in the RBR better here.
like both options, RBR and EAWRC. However, if I still need to choose which sound is most similar to the original, I choose Codemasters. RBR has a too aggressive sound, there is a lot of metal in it and it starts to buzz at high speed. Generations again placed a paparazzi with the great Colin McRae in this car. Another one car that I love and choose often. I prefer Codemaster sound here as well. It is more like the original, in my opinion. Although, of the all answers in RBR, I really like the sound of this one. Generations. There is something similar to Lancer, and that's good. I'll leave the rest of comparisons without comment. Write about what you think in comments, but don't be rude and give reasons why you think so.
few more words at the end. RBRF mode showed itself to be not bad in comparison with reality, but the sound at the moment is raw. In addition, there are no shifter sounds and peripheral sounds leave much to be desired. I would really like to improve the sound quality in this game. It's worth it. Ok guys, take care, have a good stage.